If you watched a shark tank last night, you'll have seen the sharks go absolutely nuts for the X plus one, which is a multi-rotor flying wing hybrid. Um, and whilst it was happening, I thought, well, I could, not nice to have a go at making one of those. So I thought, what have I got lying around that I could use for that? Um, about four years ago, I had a go at making a copy of the Japanese ball, and it worked. It worked quite well. Um, it needed a bit more refining, and because I made it, it was very messy. And at the time, I used this copter control board. It was cutting edge at the time. First, one of the first 32 bits, if not the first 32 bit board out there, out before all the DJI stuff, and out even before the 3DR 32 bit stuff. A cracking board. Um, still works well even today so that's that's the very board i used in fact four years ago and then i thought well i've got I've got sort of an updated version this is a sparky 2 from tau labs what i like about this is it's got um, an open lrs radio built onto the board so one less thing to wire up don't look at my horrible solder i've got a head of there so that's the antenna for the open lrs uh, radio on it so that's a cracking board could use that i thought and i thought oh no they were claiming autonomy and all those other good things this is um, an RG pilot board, small form factor RG pilot board, and lots of GPS for it. So I mean, we could use that as well. That'd be great. So well, why don't I look at the try and find out what they used? Went to the Kickstarter, and lo and behold, using a PX4 or uh, or a Pixwalk, and uh, there I have one of those. So I will be using this for my build. Um, I'll sit down later with a piece of paper and probably sketch up and work out. A, just a foam board air, airframe to see if I can get it to fly. And um, if it works, I'll post the plans.